All right, so this week we are going to be uh, modifying this block again. So uh, same, as, same as last week, I'm going to go over here, we're going to go save as. And now we're going to save this as part three. All right, make sure you put that in the, in the same folder, in whatever folder you wanted to put it in. All right, so this is everything we've worked on in this class up to this point. You can see the kind of progression started out with just the hole in it, then it had this slot in the side and the four tapped holes, and now we're getting ready to modify this one a little bit more. Okay? Um, now, for this one, it's going to be important that you know the thickness of your block. All right? If you are starting with a brand new block, then your thickness is going to be one inch. If you're starting with a block that you've already done, you know, some thickness work on, then obviously you need to update that. All right, I don't know the thickness of your blocks, so I, I can't change that. I will show you where to change that, but obviously I can't change that. So right here in this, in this sketch, that was our initial sketch we did. This was our initial extrusion. So I'm gonna go edit feature and I set mine to be 700 thick. No, let's just say that yours is one inch thick. Obviously, you would need to change that, okay? Everything else is fine because everything else was driven off the top here. So when you update that, everything should still jive, all right, if, if you drew it correctly, all right? So what we're gonna do now, and again, we've got this saved as version, well, part three, version one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save it since I made a change. Okay, so what we're gonna do is this week we're gonna do just a short introduction into 3D milling, all right? Um, so we're going to open up a sketch on this front surface, okay? And I'm going to draw a line, just like that. Now we're gonna keep it really simple. And I'm going to dimension this line. All right, you can, you can, you can either dimension it this way so you can either say, I want this at six degrees, or you can dimension it. If you click this point, you can dimension it in a more direct measurement type way. You, know, you can say, I want that surface at 400, whatever. Okay. Um, so I'll tell you what, let's just, uh, let's just keep it, keep it simple. Let's just leave it right here. Let's change that to 0.375 though. Okay, and then we are going to extrude that out. Okay, so now we have this angled surface. Okay, now um, you could take this and just put it in the machine like this and cut that with an end mill, but we're gonna do this with a ball mill, okay? So we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna stand it up just like that in the machine. We're gonna rough some material off the top and then we're gonna come in with a ball mill and cut that surface, okay? Um, now, if, uh, if we, I tell you what, let's go ahead, let's, let's, uh, let's change this up. Let's go ahead and put a hole in it to where we have to do it this way. Or let's, let's put a notch in it or something to where we have to do it this way. Okay. So I'm going to draw it like this. I'm going to dimension that at 0.5 and that doesn't really matter. Just set that to one inch. 
set that to 0.5 as well. Okay, so now if we extrude that out, now we have to do it that way. Well, we don't have to. We have to do that notch that way, but because now if we tried to lay it down like this, we wouldn't be able to get that square corner. Okay? All right, so that, that's what we're looking for. Let me show you that first sketch again. Uh, let's see here. That would be this one. All right, so you want your notch out to the right. That's going to be your tall side. Okay, make that 0.375. Now again, um, if you accidentally click that line, then it's going to try to give you a dimension or a a, uh, a degree type measurement. It's going to, going to give you an angular measurement. So you have to click the point. Okay, so make sure you click that point. All right, and then from there, we, we finished that sketch and extruded that out, and then we came in here and drew this, just a half inch by half inch, and this line right here, doesn't matter what you set this to, you can set that to 1.5, whatever, you know, just as long as it clears, you know, as long as it clears the top of the part, okay? All right, so that's your CAD for this, and um, you know once you once you get this drawn up, then we will uh, we'll jump on the cam. So I'm going to stop this video now. Um, you know, short, short, sweet little video. Uh, get that drawn up, and then we will uh, jump right in the cam.